Diabetes is a disease which is being diagnosed more and more in dogs and cats these days, particularly in cats. The kind of diabetes that they get is very similar to the form of diabetes which is most common in people, which is when they get quite older cats who are quite overweight, whose um, pancreas just give out in the end because of a rich, high fat, high calorie diet. The treatment for diabetes is regular injections of insulin which is the hormone that helps to keep the blood sugar levels stable. And obviously, if you have a cat that's been diagnosed with diabetes and the vet says, well, now you need to inject them twice a day, it can be an extremely daunting prospect. But actually, it's just a skill to learn like any other. Anybody can do it. It's not nearly as scary as you would think. And most vets will talk you through the procedure and ensure that you're happy with it before they send you home. But what we're going to do today is we're going to show you on TC here how to inject cats so um, you can have a reference at home if you need one. What I do on all my diabetic cats who have been diagnosed is I shave a patch of hair on the back of their neck. Injecting into the scruff in the back of the neck is the easiest place to inject in a cat. And if you take off the hair, first of all, it's obviously much easier to see the skin and therefore what you're doing. They don't have to have a clipped neck for all of the time. When you're learning it's easier, but once you get good at it, you can let the hair grow back and you'll have no problems at all. This is a typical example of an insulin syringe. They're very small and they're very thin. The graduations along the side are for how much insulin you need to give the cat. They all have a little safety cap on them, so pull that off, make sure you pull straight and clean because the needle is very soft and will bend if you catch it. You can see that the needle is absolutely tiny. The cats will very rarely feel it going in, hardly any of them will make a fuss. So don't worry about hurting your cat, it is definitely worth it. So, first of all, Pick up the skin with one hand and make a tent. What you're aiming to do is have a triangle of skin coming away from the area that you've picked up. And you're going to be injecting into the base of that triangle down here. This is where you have the largest amount of skin space to go into underneath the skin. Okay. Take the needle, pick up the skin with your other hand and make a tent. Remember, you're aiming for the base of this triangle. Hold the needle and then gently but firmly just push it through the skin. You can see that TC didn't even flinch then. That's how tiny these needles are. Then, gently put your hands on the plunger and squeeze and the insulin will go into the skin. And then gently remove the needle and relax the skin and a little rub. And there you are, it's that easy.